Hello everyone and welcome to Morning Markets. My name is Chris Island and I'm Director of Investment Strategy here at True Potential. And what we want to do with the Morning Markets video series is really let you into the discussions that we are having as an investment team. And today what we're going to talk about is yesterday's data point. So the United States record high corporate profits reading. So US corporate profits surged to a fresh record high in the second quarter, boosted by robust demand and higher prices. So this suggests that an anticipated slowdown in economic growth this quarter because of higher COVID-19 cases could actually be temporary. The jump in profits reported by the Commerce Department yesterday was despite businesses facing increased costs owing to shortages of raw materials and labour. The resurgence in infections in the US driven by the Delta variant of the coronavirus is chipping away demand for services like air travel and cruises, leading economists to cut their third quarter growth estimates. However, based on profits data, many economists actually now believe that any slowdown in growth as a result of slower consumer spending is actually likely to prove temporary. Profits from current production increased by $234.5 billion dollars or at a 9.2% quarterly rate to a record $2.8 trillion. So that's after rising at a 5.1% pace in the first quarter. They were driven by a $169.8 billion surge in profits at domestic non-financial corporations, but there are also gains in domestic financial corporations as well as the rest of the world profits. If we look at pre-tax profits as a share of GDP, so that's a proxy for economy-wide profit margins. They actually rose 70 basis points to 12.3%, so that's the highest since 2014. Profits were up 70% from a year ago, partially exaggerated by a low base comparisons in the second quarter of 2020, following those mandatory shutdowns of non-essential businesses. But let's just take a step back. You know, what does all this mean? So elevated profit margins suggests higher costs have not yet meaningfully eaten into firms' profits, as firms appear to actually have more pricing power today than they typically would in this early in an expansion. So to me, this illustrates the resilience of US companies in light of the challenges of COVID-19. Okay, that's everything from me today. I hope you enjoyed today's morning market. Please enjoy your weekend. And I look forward to speaking to you soon. Thank you very much. Subscribing to the True Potential YouTube channel is quick and easy. Simply go to the channel on your desktop or through the YouTube app on your phone and click the subscribe button. You can then press the notification bell symbol if you wish to be notified as and when new videos are released. Doing this is a great way to keep yourself updated with market developments and personal finance insights. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed and we look forward to continuing to help you do more with your money.